2021 CPPI index. Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah Port tops 2021 CPPI index. Two Saudi ports rise up in rank, according to a report in Al Arabiya. Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah Port topped the 2021 edition of the Global Container Port Performance Index, CPPI, developed by the World Bank and S&P Global Market Intelligence. Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Islamic Port also featured strongly in eighth place overall, and King Abdulaziz Port placed at 14th. Quote, CPPI is a comparable index of global container port performance intended to serve as a reference point for key stakeholders in the global economy. The ranking is based on time vessels needed to spend in port to complete workloads over the course of 2021, a year that saw unprecedented port congestion and disruption to global supply chains, unquote, according to the World Bank. Massive. King Abdullah Port's rank increased, as you noted, from the second to the first in the world. Jeddah went from 55th to 8th, and King Abdullah Z's port jumped to 14th, uh, jumping 88 points or 88 ranks from last year's report. Richard, when I saw this, and we, were, we talked about this a little bit earlier this week, all I could think about was the forthcoming land bridge that they're building, because these ports are starting to really start... I mean, really increase in volume. And then when you get this land bridge built, connecting a lot of Saudi Arabia to these ports, major game changer. Well, land bridge is is a is a big thing, but and it it will be a game changer. It will be it will you know reduce time and and uh, expense considerably when that's in place. Um, I think it's. I just think it's interesting. We did some. We mentioned this in the in last week's episode about ports and. I think it's notable that out of close to 400 ports, you know, King Abdullah Port is one, and 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 uh, Jeddah Port is eight. Uh, I also think it's fascinating to me that you know, coming in at 369 and 370, which is the bottom, are Long Beach, U.S. and Long, Los Angeles, U.S. <clears throat> really which we personally we personally toured those ports, Richard. I don't know if you remember back. I in do 2012. remember. Yeah, <laughs> I do remember. Uh, there wasn't a delay there, but I guess that's a function. And I looked into this. I guess that's a, a function of, of obviously supply chain crisis. You know, the, everybody ordered on and during the pandemic, but also older ports uh, in Asia and, and the Middle East. You're, you, you know, the significantly newer ports that can work year round. I mean, day uh, 24 hours, and and just simply more efficient. 